morning, everybody. Welcome to Chesed in the morning. Fifteen minutes to change our lives. Kuch Zemayin. We're in Maimer Vav Parak Beis. So we're going to just start with giving tzedakah. Good old tzedakah. Especially in these days. Also, we're going to daven for some of the hostages. I need to update my Baruch Hashem. We need to update this list because people are really starting to come back. It's Hashem. It should continue all the way until everyone comes back alive and well. And then, <clears throat> and then the, the, the army should finish the job and take care of Hamas so we won't have any, any more issues. But today we're gonna we're gonna have in mind specifically Shanav Bas Rachel. It's Hashem Shanav Rachel and all the soldiers, especially Yeshiv Yitzchak Ben Simcha, and everyone should all be safe and strong and healthy and al gudezachin. And today also a special day. Um, Yudalad Kislev, Rebbe's Rebbe Nevertin's wedding anniversary. It's Hashem. Olam Shachis. So the Rebbe said, "This is the day that I became connected to us and us to Him." Chassidim. So Mitzvah Hashem, we should connect to the Rebbe and through learning Chassidus and through going the ways of Chassidus, should have good. Okay. Parak base. So basically, we said we said in the last parak that ultimately, even though we said in parak in in Maimer Hay, that that the neshama that that Malchus doesn't want to come down and create the worlds and also the nesh- and, and similarly to the neshama. Because before it comes down, there's two reasons we gave. One is because it's coming from its in its source. The nature of everything is to go back up to its source. Its, its source is in godliness. So what does it want to separate itself from godliness? It's like Chassidim departing from, from the Rebbe. It's very hard for them. When Chassidim went on Shlichus, it was very difficult for them to, to have to leave the presence of the Rebbe. And the other reason is because Malchus understood that when it comes down to this world, suddenly challenges are gonna are gonna arrive, arise. I said deal with the Gashmias, and is and we can and the Gashmias can come and, and separate itself from Galinus and makes things like this. V'chul, v'chul. <laughs> so that's why I didn't want to. And but ultimately we said in my in my Mavav, in the first parak. That through the Avedo, through coming down into this world and, and, and dealing with the Gashmias, it reaches a level that is higher than, higher than what it can reach without it coming down. And this is this is sort of the challenge of life. It's challenging, but through the challenge, it brings out the best in, in us. Herak base. Um, um, however, Akshav, now, he needs to be some So now we have to understand that Malchus is, is Tmeh, it's thirsty. Because it came down and occluded itself in the lower world. Remember, we said before, Malchus is coming from, we're talking about Malchus of Atzillus. That's when it's one Atzillus, like we said before, it's Eitzel. It's next to, it's close by God. It's a world of just godliness. So Malchus was over there. So then now that it comes down and creates a physical world, so then it has this thirst to go back up. It wants to go up, back from its descent, back to its source. So too with the neshama. Through the neshama being clothed in the body. And the nefesh of Bahamas. That the neshama comes down. From where it was before it was included in the body, it was living the good life. It was the ultimate spirituality. It had no concept, no connection to yeshus, to self awareness, and gashmius physicality. It was all godliness to live the pristine life. And we call it again even more so. And how much more so that it didn't even have the potential to come down and to and to even separate itself from Golanus. To do opposite of Golanus. Think about that. It's like the Neshama before it came down, it's living the good life, everything is good, doing the right thing. 
can't do anything wrong. But what happens? It comes down into a physical body and not just it doesn't can't live that same lifestyle. It can even go and do the wrong things. I remember when I was just starting Yeshiva, I had I had a friend that got engaged. And the week before his wedding, yeah, he lived in, in Baltimore and he needed to go do a few things. And he needed to uh, shame him. I had just come to America. And so I was like, oh, okay. I wanted uh, to have the opportunity to go around and travel and, and see. Besides the four Amos of the Dalai Amos of the, of the Yeshiva. So I asked one of the Mashpim, those, and sort of they had a whole conflict. One of them said, no, you can't leave. You're doing so good. You're, you're just starting here. You're getting involved. Don't, don't leave the other one. And I said, I said, also, like, I want to see where I'm holding. Like, it's easy in Yeshiva to sit there and, and do all the right things. But it's when you go out of Yeshiva and how you withstand the trials and tribulations of outside of those, that place, how, how good you are. And so basically the other Mashbir said, yeah, it's fine. You can go. Like he understood what I was saying. I don't know. If why exactly he said it, but he let you see yeah, you can go. And I went, and it was very interesting to see myself and to see how much I had changed versus and how much I hadn't fully come to. So this is what sort of what we're saying here that the neshama comes down to a body and suddenly it's like whoa whoa what are we what are we dealing with over here? <laughs> Even when it does it, and it, it it does overcome. Even like we said before in in the, in the parak aleph, that it works on itself, and it makes sure to do the right thing, and it takes the gashness, makes the ruchness, and we and we make sure to go to bed on time, and we make sure to eat healthy and be nice to ourselves, and we daven and we learn and we try to do mitzvahs and we try and, and we're good, we're doing all the right things. But we call Malcolm, nevertheless, Harry he shayachus the Yeshu Gashmis. Nevertheless, this itself is the problem. The fact that it's connected to these things, the fact that it has to overcome a trial is foreign for it by, by itself. Before I came down and have these trials, when I was in, in that in the case that I brought it, when I was in Yeshiva, I didn't have these tests to go to, to my friend's house and 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 question. Am I going to watch TV or not going to watch TV? It didn't exist. I was in Yeshiva. They didn't have a TV. And that's what, that's what he's saying, that that even though the Neshama comes down, even though I'll go and I'll, and I'll withstand that test, and we, in our own lives, we'll stand the test, for the Neshama, the fact that it's in this test is already, already a problem. Because the Neshama is literally included in animal soul. Before it came down, it wasn't included in any animal soul. There wasn't, you talked to it about Gashmias, he didn't understand what you're talking about. And now it's suddenly it's like, what is this thing? Gashmias, what are we doing? Yeshus. You know, I another a way of understanding it, it's 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 like when you get married or you live life a little bit and you start to see things, and you're like, Whoa, the world is a very interesting place. And and there's a level of naivety that you have. Until you live life more and you hear people's stories and you see things and people's experiences and you realize, like, whoa, it's pretty intense. So that's what sort of happens to the nephew of kiss. It's a little bit naive up in Shemayim. So it comes to the physical world. And it's like, whoa, people argue and people have big egos and people have things like, whoa, it's, it's, it's very hard for it. And just like that, as it does what it's meant to do with the physicality. <clears throat> to use its mind in physical things, vaskala, asaga, gashmius, in physical grasping of ideas, she calls it loy hayaba kreid misab shizbaguf. And all this, as good as that is, that it's using its mind to truly, to truly think about godly, godly things and good things, that whole concept didn't exist for the national kiss. She haya haskala is asaga, vtakha, ruchnis, vadakus. Because what did it think about? Before it came down to the body, it was all spiritual. It was all so spiritual. And very high, lofty, spiritual ideas. Not physical. And also like for us, when we learn, it's already physical and we're learning it and trying to make it practical into our physical world and our physical lives. And we're bringing it all down to very physical things. And the Shaman before it came down didn't have any of this. And the, and the Rebbe Shabbat saying, when I talk about Gash, I mean... 
even even like ideas not physical like cause materialistic things but even just spiritual like like ideas gashmim lo just the fact that they were physical the nefesh like didn't understand this this type of stuff and therefore when it comes down to a body it's understanding the, the way you can understand is with physical things is 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 really physical so even what what he's showing here that even the the ideas that for us is a, is a high level and and the neshama thinking about good ideas is is a high level for the neshama that's already a low level and a grass physical intellectual ideas and that's all because the nefesh of Bahamas includes itself in the body in the nefesh of Bahamas. And so too, and therefore, <clears throat> just the fact that it's in the physical world already causes it to have a connection to physicality. So, you know, so we can understand what, what the Rebbe Shabbos is, pu- is pushing us to understand is how much of a descent it is for the nefesh of the kiss. Before this, before it came down, had no connection to this. Until it can go descent, till come even to corruption. That's how much of a descent can happen. And because of all this, because of this, that could happen to the Nefesh Alakis, Nasa the neshama has this great, great desire. Where? What for? Ladlois miridasa. Well, he kala lemaila to go out of this descent and go back up above. But now we can understand. We can appreciate <clears throat> what's happening to the nefesh of the kiss coming down. And even though we're doing good things and everything is good, <clears throat> just it coming down has <clears throat> sorry has this problem. <clears throat> That <clears throat> this desire, just even, but also this thirst to get close didn't exist. Well, what's the saying? Um, distance makes the heart grow fonder. It didn't have the distance, it didn't have that desire to come to get back. But through its descent into the body, Nefesh Bahamas, from like we said before, that caused it to have this desire to go back up. Just like we have with the Nefesh Halakis, so do we have this concept, same idea with Malchus. So we're coming down to the lower three worlds. Again, it wants to go back up to its source. Why? Because it's so foreign for it, this whole world, creation, formation, world of action, physicality, doesn't have it. Doesn't doesn't have any of this. The Rava Nikra, and this thirst, the sated Nikra Masharita Lamalis Taivasa Hagashmus. So now back to what we said about the the satiated animal. Actually, you know what? I think we'll keep this for tomorrow. So we'll start off from this new point. Basically, so uh, uh, just to recap what we said, that and 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 this is sort of a, a foreign meditation we should have is recognizing Nisham, what Anashama is, where it comes from, and what's happening to it over here, and and the least we can do to it is be nice to it and try to fulfill its desire and not the Nisham Bahamas desire. That's essentially what we're saying. Realizing where the Nishama comes from, it came down here, and even when we're doing the good things here, it's already descent and it has a desire to go up. And so, how can I? Uh, Redeem the captive, the Nefesh Halikis, from being enslaved by the body of Nefesh Bahamas. And so through us doing the right thing, you know, and that, that's Bukhala, another for bringing what does it mean to do the right thing and figuring out what is right, but making sure to try to make the right choices, davening, learning, taking care of ourselves, Bugashmas, being healthy, speaking to ourselves nicely, having obviously soul for others. Through that, you can really uh, be nice and after the kiss. Meet Hashem all of us. You should have an amazing day and uh, 
Bin nice.